good morning from the office. So I'm in here today. Oh, I've got some bags. I did sleep last night. I am just so sore from my workout class yesterday. I'm doing that thing where like when you sit down you have to fall backwards a little bit. So that's going on. I am in the office. Hopefully the lady will be here sometime this morning so that I can actually use my desktop computer because right now I can't because it is still dead as I showed you a couple of vlogs ago. We'll see how that gets on um, and in the meantime I think I'm just going to work on my laptop with the things that I can do right now which is the helpline recording check that um, Endo UK wanted us to do so I'm gonna go through that and send that on and then I think I will edit yesterday's vlog and get that up and then yeah today today's the last day of vlogging which is absolutely insane to me I don't know I don't know if anyone will miss this <laughs> my parents my parents will probably miss this but I will try to like get some video videos up over the coming months of other ideas that just weren't able to happen because it's been a very busy month so we will see what happens with that and I'm going to get to work because it is a Wednesday and I'm in the office and need to do work so we'll check in later, bye. getting ready for Easter. There's a lot of boxes on the go. Hello, I have just absolutely soaked myself um, doing dishes in the sink, but I'm going to change in just a wee bit and then I'm going to do a wee request um, that someone had. I figured it was appropriate for this last vlog of the month um, to kind of go over some pain management things that I have that I've purchased some of them you might recognize from a video I did last year about endometriosis essentials and some of those things are still my essentials. There's some new things that I've been trying um, but most of the stuff is my like go-to old school things. So I'll cut that in just now. Hello! So for the last vlog of the month for Endometriosis Awareness Month I am going to go through what you have requested, which is my personal aids for endometriosis management, pain management, period pain, all of that kind of stuff. So we'll just jump right into it because I have a lot of products here. And I should also probably preface this that I will be talking about BU. I've talked about BU on this channel before. I've talked about BU for years and it's only in the last couple of weeks that I've actually become affiliated with them as a brand ambassador or brand as a brand affiliate, I'm, I'm one of them, I can't, can't actually remember, but either way, I do work with them, I get a discount code for them, so I will include the discount down below, but every everything else that I have here, unsponsored, I've paid for this with my own money, I mean I have paid for the BU stuff, most of it with my own money because it was before I became an affiliate with them. If you don't believe me on the BU products, you can go back and look at my old videos. This is something that I've talked about for a long time, so I will talk about them in this video. I don't have monetized content anyways, so it's not like I'm losing money by talking about this, but we'll just go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing that I want to talk about, and it's something that I've talked about many times before, both on here and on Instagram, is my UU bottle. UU is a company that makes long hot water bottles. So as you can see with this UU bottle, there's this little bit at the end. Mine is really old because I've used it for a really long time. And then it tightens, so this is where you fill the bottle and then it tightens here. So you can tie it up and you can actually thread the ties through here so that you can tighten it around your abdomen so you can wear it and be hands-free. I absolutely adore this. It even has a wee pocket in it so you can stick stuff in if you're like 
putting it over a shoulder. I wrap it around my lower back quite a lot. So I have two of these. I have one that stays at my office and one that stays here at home. I don't know what I would do without them. I've actually taken my UU bottle, like rolled it up when empty and brought it on a cruise before. I take it anywhere I go just because I know a normal hot water bottle or microwavable pack doesn't do for me what this bottle can. The second thing that I'm going to talk to you about is actually is our supplements. Check with your doctor before you ingest anything. I feel like in general I should preface this whole thing with check with your doctor. If you, you know, do your research, find out what will work for you. I am not endorsing anything here. It's for anyone else. These are just things that have worked for me. So something that other endometriosis patients have clued me in on is turmeric and ginger supplements. So I've been taking these. I don't know if you can see them. And these are turmeric curcumin, don't know how that's different from normal cumin, and ginger with organic black pepper. This is high strength 1380 mg per serving, and this is 120 vegetarian capsules. So they recommend that you take two capsules a day. I was doing this for a while, but these are quite big capsules so I hate sorry I feel like oh, who am I doing this kind of hand thing but that way you can see like the actual size of these pills so it's up to you really I don't know if I've really noticed a difference with them I mean I haven't noticed anything bad happening with them so I keep taking it the other supplement that I have started taking are these day probiotics so these day probiotics, um, I've only been taking them for a couple of weeks now, but they're supposed to be good for, like, good bacteria for down there. Day is a very sustainable company, so you get this tin on your first order, and then every 30 days I'll get sent a disposable pack with new pills, so I just fill up the tin. So that's quite good that you're not wasting a bunch of plastic or any of that packaging. These, so far, I've not, like I said, I've only been doing it for a couple of weeks. I've not really noticed too big of a change. The main reason why I wanted to take these is because I've been having like interstitial cystitis, I can't say it, I see like symptoms. I didn't know if there was anything else that was going on, but I saw online that some people recommended um, probiotics, probiotics for down there. And so I've started giving these a go and I can update you later on how I get on with it, but those are something that exists. Another thing that I wanted to talk to you about is this is a TENS unit. So the TENS unit that I have is called Olivia and it's meant to help with menstrual pain. So I've had the Olivia for over a year now. To be honest, I don't use it that much. It's something that I, I used to use a TENS unit to help with my neck pain because I have a messed up neck. It comes with, um, at least in the package that I got, it came with two different like skins for the Livia as well as their stickies. So I'll show you. This is kind of the case that it's kept in. There is a charging cable which is somewhere. <laughs> this is what the unit looks like. You can see on the back it's got a clip. So what you do is you take these sticky things if they want to come out of here. So you plug in these at back and you can clip this into your trousers or wherever you're wanting to clip that and then you will stick these pads which don't hurt onto <laughs> well not there you stick them onto like your abdomen um i've been told to like kind of place them around where the pain is and it sends out kind of electric Trodes. I, I'm not scientific, so some, some kind of signal that helps the nerve endings chill out, essentially. This was very expensive, though. I don't know if I would necessarily recommend paying 
so much for this one. I think also it the company was based in the US back when I bought it over a year ago. They may have a unit here in the UK now, but back when I bought it, I had to actually pay like extra customs fees and things to get it in the UK. So if you're in the UK, maybe look at what is a bit more local first. I know that Boots tends to carry TENS units, you can get them on Amazon pretty cheap. So a TENS unit is a TENS unit is a TENS unit. Now before I move on to the BU products, I wanted to talk about something that isn't necessarily to help with pain, but it's something that I've been using for a few months now and it has actually changed how my pelvic floor works. I had been seeing a pelvic floor physiotherapist for my endometriosis and particularly pain with you know. So my pelvic floor, I didn't really know how to work it. I never paid attention to it as a young, never before given birth woman. I have not really paid attention to what my pelvic floor is, where it is, or how to utilize it and exercise it and all of that. So with pelvic floor physiotherapy, I learned where it's at, but I was having a very hard time figuring out how to actually exercise it and know if I was doing exercises right. So that is where this comes in. So this is called an LV and it comes in this little weird spaceship Pod. I push on this and it pops it out and then here it is in its little transportation hub. This may gross you out a bit but <laughs> with the LV trainer it comes in this whole kit and then this is your wee firm looking thing. But this actually goes inside and it's extremely sensitive so it goes inside the little tail stays outside just like a tampon and it is bluetooth connected to an app on your phone and it guides you through doing exercises such as like pulse hold pulse hold pulse hold or it'll have you increase in strength um, it'll have you do rapid ones. There's lots of different exercises, just like any muscle, that it takes you through. It only takes a couple of minutes a day, um, a couple of minutes a week if you want it, and already over the... Uh, it's definitely been over six months. I had it before I had my last surgery, and my pelvic floor physiotherapist discharged me because I'm all better on that front now it has changed things for me dramatically so I would highly recommend if you don't know how to work your pelvic floor if you don't know if you're doing it right if you're worried about injuring it in some way because you don't know the right forms to use and things this is expensive I think there are things like this out there but I don't know if they have the same like Bluetooth technology that connects to your phone so you can hold your phone while you're doing everything and it's it's just really impressive that this exists. I would definitely recommend looking at an LV if you can figure out the cost, uh, how to pay for it then I do. I do recommend. If you're worried about the size of this, if you're thinking it's going to slide out for any reason, it does come with a additional like size buffer thing. So this is like a skin for it, which goes over it. So that way it's a bit thicker if that helps you in some way. They've come up with really creative ways of getting around, you know, trying to, trying to be a one size fits all for everyone by giving you lots of options. This may not be what you're looking for, but I figured I would talk to you about it because I wish I had known before I started pelvic floor physiotherapy that this kind of thing existed. And it is something that you probably have to save money for because it is pricey. Moving on to BU products, I'm going to start with the old school tried and true and these are the monthly patches. I've been getting BU monthly patches for it must be two years. It must be over two years. I, I have had a subscription ever since the beginning. It's worth getting a subscription because you can set how often you want it to arrive. It, you can set if you are getting too many packs and you want to skip a month, um, if you want to skip a month because of monetary reasons, whatever. In a BU period patch, monthly patch pack, it comes packaged like this. And it comes with five pa uh, five patches. So the patches, they look like this, and they have three parts 
on them. So you peel them back and then stick these on you. So what I tend to do with these is I will peel one side off, I'll stick it on a hip and then I will pull it across and then undo the other side. So that way it kind of stretches across my whole abdomen. Um, so that's kind of my method of sticking these on. I use these for ovulation pain. I've used these for back pain. You can put them pretty much anywhere. If you've got a headache, a neck ache, you can cut them up into pieces and stick them on. The one thing I will say is make sure that you do seal it tightly because you don't want the air getting in and making it not sticky anymore. So that is the old school thing. So now some newer products. So they have come out with these bath bombs. So everybody loves a bath bomb. I don't have a bath in this flat, but I do in the flat that I stay in sometimes. <laughs> these really do make a difference. They don't irritate my skin at all. If you don't do well with Lush products or something like BU bath bombs, they smell great and they feel great. The last thing that I will talk to you about is probably my most used product. You can see I'm actually almost out of this. This is the BU CBD balm. It's a muscle balm and I use this on my back mainly and I use this for my head for migraines. I cannot tell you how helpful this muscle balm is. It has completely changed like the game. I haven't found much success with CBD products in general. I don't do well with oral drops or anything like that but the muscle balm absolutely changes it. So I highly recommend giving the muscle balm a look if you're looking for something to like ease everything out. But that's the products that I wanted to share with you. If you have any, feel free to comment down below and I'll check them out. I will also list everything in the description box so you can click through and check it out yourself. And thank you so much for following along and watching. Hopefully this was helpful to you and we'll see you sometime soon. It's after midnight um, on the 31st, so it's technically April 1st now. I just had to include this last little bit in the vlog because you'll find this hilarious. I always want to do an April Fool's prank, but I never like come up with an idea and I've got it this year. Let me show you. So I've printed out a bunch of Gordon Ramsay memes and I have hidden them. I mean, some of them are in plain sight. You know, these you can easily see, but some of them <laughs> are on things that they maybe wouldn't notice at first. Uh, <laughs> so, we'll see how this goes. Um, I think those are, I mean, I'm not even gonna remember where I put all of these really. So you can obviously like see this one, but then this. <laughs> I think this is the last one. So. <laughs> That's my April Fool's um, prank to the household and what I have spent my break between thesis writing because I'm doing an all-nighter. Woohoo! Break between what I'm writing has been, has been printing out Gordon Ramsay memes and sticking them around the kitchen. So I hope you have a lovely April Fool's and again, thanks for watching and I will see you in another video sometime real soon. Bye!